Welcome back guys to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install our second window we brought. It's identical to the first but it's in a different position. There's a lot more things to consider with this one. Um, that's our main part of the video. But um, also got one extra thing to show you and it'll be at the end. So uh, keep your eyes out. Hope you enjoy. So the first thing we're going to do today guys is clean down the surface area. Make sure there's no dirt on there before we start cutting out the window. Um, gonna be quite a tricky one because on our van it angles down slightly towards the front of the van so getting a level getting everything correct in the right position is the main thing today and uh, yeah we're gonna crack on with it so let's go our bed situation excuse the tools we move this back a second our, what we currently mapped out on the floor is where our first bench sheet's going to go. Second side, second over there, blah, blah, blah. Um, we want the window pinpoint back in, back? Directly in the middle of this. Um, somewhere roughly around there, I'd imagine. Um, so, that's the aim, is trying to get it directly in the middle. We want it, and then drilling through probably from the inside on this one because obviously we want it directly in the middle of this bench seat so we, and our heads are going to be at this end looking out of this way um so when we drill through i can find the exact middle point and then work our um what am i trying to say work our measurements from that point so yeah all finished clean in there yep all done um, one thing that I did want to do before um, we started with this window, the reason we fitted the other window and left it a week is so that we can make sure there was no problems with the other window and just make sure that this is not leaking, it's not had any problems because we've not seen many people fit the same type of windows that we've got. Um, but it's not actually rained at all this week, not one drop. So I've got a jug of water and I'm going to go and stand on the outside and then check that it's not leaking, just yeah. pour it over. I think that's a good idea. I'm really scared now. I'd probably use the watering can rather than a jug, but this is what we've got. Just pour it gently, like the rain. Like the rain? <laughs> Imagine it's a storm. Oh, I'm so scared. Most likely going to be from, out, from down the side, not actually on natural material itself. Yeah, and they're like down where we sealed it. I think that's a good amount to see if there's going to be... I soon tell. Lee, can I see that? Camera pointing at it. Right then, guys. After all that, let's, let's go and have a look inside. Old window. <laughs> if not, we've got a clean window. I doubt that there'd be any drips straight away, but from the first look at it, I mean, there's no wet on the inside. Seems really nice, to be fair. Like I said, we'll give that a few more minutes just to see if there's any any like damp coming through, any drops anywhere. Because at least now, whilst it's dry, we can resolve the problem if there is going to be one. Fingers crossed, there won't be. But from the first first look at it, it looks absolutely fine. Looks good. To come up with where we're putting the window, the aim is to find the centre of the bench seating that we're going to have on this side of the bed. I think Cal said a little bit earlier about that. Um, so what we've done to get the measurement is basically measure from the back of the ply to where we're going to box the wheel arch in. And that's like 162 centimetres, was it? Yeah. So we're going to go with, that is how wide our bed is going to be, which is like bigger than a king size. So it's going to be nice when it's made up. I mean, it gives us a nice big bed, which is really what we wanted for the van gives us lots of seating also and yeah we are basically need the measurements now so that we can try to get that window in the middle of the seating area which was our aim so we are going to start marking it up and hopefully it won't take too long hopefully the last one took ages <laughs> are we going to measure then i suppose it is we need a sharpie and this is what we have <laughs> okay then yeah right Don't you find levels like 
really cool. Yeah. Okay. So after a lot of faffing, we've come up with where we think the window is going to go. You know. Like the middle measurement. Yeah, the middle middle measurement. We didn't want to show you all that because of faffy and faffy boring. Faffy and took us but a long time. I did make time. a beautiful diagram. Yeah. And this really helped us last week, so we're going to reuse it this time. What the cardboard cut out? Yeah. That was my fantastic idea. It was. So, without any further ado, it's on the cardboard. So I don't know if you can hear that, we basically brought this little handheld vacuum um, van of them. Because uh, we wanted something for the van anyway. We thought this was wireless, but it turns out it's not. Yeah, we didn't really read it. But we kind of said about getting one, didn't we? And then we yeah. were like, oh shit, we haven't bought the vacuum. And then we were like, oh, we're just- One half meter wire with it, and it nearly goes the length of the van, so. Very, I'm, almost to the back, yeah. so. And we're basically gonna be having a 12 volt plug in at the back here. So it will work. But yeah, it's, it's powerful. It's done the work. Powerful has done the job, so we're pleased with that. So we've cut out the bracing because we needed to be able to measure from the line that we've drawn to the centre, and we can't do that with obviously the bracing getting in the way is going to be an inaccurate measurement. So we just cut out the bracing just so we can draw up where the window is going to go and cut that hole. So we're going to crack on and do that now. So as you can see, what I've done, well, I have to get a little bit closer, is I've just drawn these dotted lines all along, marking the points several times. So this is how we've pretty much done all of the lines, because obviously if you follow the average of all the dots that are all the same measurement, then it should be accurate. Um, it is quite time consuming and it's really stressful measuring out these windows, but you want to get it right. What we've done with this one, which is different from the other one, is we're cutting this from the inside. And the reason we've decided this is just because we feel like it'd be more yeah. accurate cut because we with our van we've got leaf springs and so the back end is lifted slightly because obviously it's a long wheelbase van so it's ideally a carrier like you know courier van sorry so they needed upgraded a suspension so at the moment our van is slightly tilted up so we want to follow the curvature of the we want to follow the angle of the van rather than what looks straight on the outside yeah, like so, what our main concern, I suppose, is that if we're with the other window, it's on the door, whereas this is going to be where our seating area is, and we don't want to be sat here like this view that you guys can see now, and the window not look straight. I'd rather it be straight from the inside than the outside. So we've took the measurements from the inside, so that when we're sat inside and we're enjoying the view, we're not sat there going, oh, the window looks, <laughs> the window looks slightly off. So hopefully it'll look okay from the it outside. Should, it should look fine. That's the decision we've gone with. Because we've gone with the, we've gone with the measurements on the inside. It's the same panel. I think it's going to look fine. Hopefully. So I'm this is the face of concern. <laughs> so what I'm going to do first is do a very small pilot hole there in each corner. Just so we can have a little so look. So we can have a little look and then worst case scenario I can we can try and sort something over We can those. move that. Yeah. So the plan is to now join these lines up and then put those pilot holes in and see what it has, has. Have a look, see what it looks like. So the time has now come for me to start drilling, start cutting, start making this hole. Wish me luck. <clears throat>
trilled, sorry. Five holes now. One dart in the middle, one in the evil corner. Time for me to start grinding. Zip, zip. Grind on the inside, please. Inside of the line. So all I've got to use is a grinder. And I'm supposed to... She's telling me to grind on the inside of the lines. Wish me luck. Alright, here we go. Here we go. This is not a drill. Ha, get it? Ah. It's a grinder. Ha <laughs> ha! Been that one for half an hour. So what I'm doing here now guys, I'm basically making two longer pieces of frame basically to go on top here. So I want it to come back here to roughly around here and that's 78 and a half. Same again applies to the bottom there. There's many ways you can make a frame obviously, this is just the way we're making it. Making two longer ones, so one, one and one that would fit in between here and vice versa there. Um, and then we're going to use some um, angle brackets, which I might have seen on a previous video, but I'll show you again once it's once I've cut the pieces of wood. So, like I said, guys, seventy uh, eight point five for the longer uh, pieces of wood on the frame, and I will bring you. And I'm not entirely sure for the shorter ones yet, but I will. We'll see measure them up. I'm having to make a measurement of 397 to fit in between the two longer pieces of frame I've made. Um, so yeah, that's the bits that sit in between. Um, and then after that, that should be your frame. Same again on this one, 397. Last cut for the frame. And the really good thing is this timber we brought is 2400 and um in length, sorry. And it is we've making a whole frame of this 7x4 window. There's only about 20 mil left. As you can see guys, this is the angle pieces that we're using. Um, we saw another video of somebody making them like this and we thought that's a really good idea. It saves us. Shout out. <laughs> Jake's journey mate. 
Jake's journey, mate. Thanks for the idea. Thanks for the idea. Um, but yeah, this it seems like it's working really well. We did it on our last window, and it's not doesn't look any worse than any of the videos we've seen or anything, does it? Mm -hmm. Good. That's very nice. That. Same right now. Little gap in this bit. So poor craftsmanship that. Ah. Pick the blame. Look. Got it. I'm not very good at all. This is my um silicone gun. Ah. <laughs> so we have the hole. And we are now about to fill it with said window. With said window. Get in the basically there is so much choice of silly comb to buy. Um, I just bought went with what looked good and the most expensive. Because it says that it's seriously strong stuff. So hopefully yeah. it's seriously strong. Does what it says on the tub. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> oh I'm oh I'm not scared anymore really. I don't know. I don't know what. Pretty much, yeah. Just have a good, like, make us think nice and fit ourselves. Well, yeah, don't want to leave any gap in between anything. Is there any gap there? No, just when you push forward, it's afraid of one of these. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, that's quite nice. Yeah, that's quite right, the window is going in. Into the right. hole. Hopefully it fit. Okay, because we've tested it, obviously. So we've put all the sealant on. Now we're just getting it in. Nice. That's nice. Happy? Happy. Okay, now's the fun bit because I have to put my basically my body weight. So last time we fitted the window we didn't record outside, but it was quite comical because I had to put like my body weight against the window as Cal put in the self-tapping screws on the other side. Um, so yes, that is going to be a whole heap of fun. Hello, hello, it's me. No, I was singing it down. Oh, hello from the other side. I spy with my little eye something beginning yeah. with S. Sexy Kalumi Halumi. Speaking to the birds. So what we do now is put these screws into the allocated holes and that goes straight into the wood behind. What's happening guys? Today I'm going to be fitting the bonnet protector. Sorry about the bang. Um, I know some of you are probably thinking it's a stupid idea and part of me agrees with you to be honest. It looks a bit stupid, it looks a bit wrong. But there's a lot of me that really wants it. So yeah, I'm just going to go and fit it and see what happens. Hopefully it looks good. Hopefully it fits. I'm a bit dubious about it, but let's give it a go. Right. The pack comes with these little black brackets. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six in total I believe. Get a little packet of screws and bits. Uh, also these little transparent 
plug things, don't really know what they're for to be honest. And a little instruction manual, but on this instruction manual, they're using metal brackets and they're plastic. And those plugs aren't even on this. What's the worst that can happen, eh? See if this works. From the way it looks, they screw, if you can see that, they screw onto there, I think, and then just clips on, but I don't see this working, to be honest. Let's give it a go anyway. That's, that's one good thing, the screws do fit in the brackets. So there it is guys, all completed now. Not gonna lie, it was a lot of faffing, quite a lot of modification to be honest. This definitely is not the one for a stitch and relay, but I managed to uh, make it fit. Don't know if you can see these little black bits here, little tabs. You can see that or not? Yeah, they're not great. They're not great at all. They keep popping off the heads of the screws, but it's not a lot I can do about it to be honest, but other than that, it's on there. And get a little closer look. I think it's pretty sick to be fair. At least they're a little bit more popping, I like that. But yeah, if you're gonna buy one of these, just be cautious of those um little bits I mentioned. Other than that, though, it is looking grand day. Very nice. Like I said, it wasn't um, <clears throat> something I wanted, not necessarily something I needed. I just wanted something to give it that extra little pop. So there it is guys, all finished, all done. All we had to consider from what you've probably seen from the videos that we had to take in consideration of the angle of the van. But, it's done absolutely, it's been absolutely fine to be honest. Done, been absolutely fine. So there we go, that's it with the fly screen. There we go, the blackout screen. It's really nice, and once again, you can just separate the both. Go like that, bring it down, push it up. And yeah, voila. You now have a functional opening window. I really like these windows, too far. It's been a couple of weeks, it's been about a week and a half, two weeks since we last installed our first one. So, um, and we've not had any issues with it. And yeah, fingers crossed I haven't had any of this one, but... Like I said before, these windows are great. For the money and what you get from the window, like this fly screen, the blackout screen, they're really good to be fair. They're, they look great from the outside. And um, I'm really pleased with it. So um, yeah, I totally recommend these vid videos. What am I saying? I totally recommend these windows to anybody who's looking at getting some for their van or 
boat or etc wherever wherever you want to buy them for let's say um but yeah there we go guys complete um and also i'll show you a little sneak peek here we're going to be installing our third window next week um it's not the same as these something different and we can't wait to show you to be honest it's completely different to what we thought we wanted for the back originally we wanted one of these but we can't get the size we want for the back but we found something different something we both agreed on so and for a good price and that's what we wanted so we're going to go for one of those so catch us next week guys when we will be installing our third window our floor in well frame let's say you'll see us install the framing and the insulation and whatnot um we've also got some sound deadening and potentially as a potentially we've got a 240 electric hookup to install down here somewhere not sure where yet though but potentially that might be in the video as well if not the following week but yeah please join us again next week when that'll be all uploaded and everything uh, don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell notification bell notification bell button sorry to be notified whenever we upload a video thanks again guys